Hello, I'm Priscilla Archangel, and my leadership insight for you today is, where do you belong? So I'll start with a few questions for you. Where did you come from? Who are your people? Who do you look like in your family? Now, if you can readily answer these questions, congratulations. But for some people, the questions evoke anxiety because they have little to no contact with their family of origin. There are many nonprofit agencies these days that take on the important work of ensuring the well-being of children in the child welfare system. And an increasingly important strategy they use is reconnecting them with their relatives. That means as soon as these organizations begin to engage with the youth, they begin efforts to locate and strengthen bonds with their immediate and extended family. Now, for those who know little about their family of origin, these steps provide healing and a positive identity development. And the underlying premise is that children want and need to belong to someone. They want to know where they came from. They want engagement frequently and consistently. Because no matter how young or old we are, we all want to belong to a family or a group. This aligns with our desire for belonging at work. Not having a sense of belonging on a team can lead to quiet quitting, dysfunctional teams, and more. Now, to be clear, your employer is not your family. Your relationship with your employer will come to an end sooner or later, and your relationships with your coworkers might outlive your employment or they might fade with distance and time. But wherever you're employed, it's important to belong to a team. There's an organization called Better Up that recently published research that shows social belonging is a fundamental human need hardwired into our DNA, and yet 40% of people say they feel isolated at work, and the result has been lower organizational commitment and engagement. So think back for a moment to a team you were assigned to, but maybe you didn't feel accepted. Each day maybe was a struggle. You hesitated to speak up and share your ideas. You didn't have as many casual connections, and no doubt this had a negative impact on your contribution and performance. Now compare it to a team where you felt valued and a sense of belonging. You contributed more to the work process, you received more positive feedback from your colleagues, and that in turn led to a greater effort and better results. And you likely experienced several of the following positive family characteristics that fostered connections, such as understanding and valuing the strengths of each team member, being held accountable to support the team goals, supporting the development and growth of each team member, providing a safe space to ask questions and share concerns, having the tools needed to be successful, sharing information and resources, and when one person wins, everyone wins. And leaders play a key role in creating an environment of belonging where employees can perform at their best simply by modeling and expecting those behaviors from everyone. Sometimes teams are challenged when a member exhibits behaviors different from the group norms, and that might be manifested in terms of religious practices, food preferences, maybe personality styles or energy levels. It also might include some more visible differences such as race, gender, sexual orientation, or physical abilities. But rather than pull away from those differences, this is the time to lean in and get to know one another. You're likely viewed by them as being different too. There's also times when someone isn't working out on a team, whether due to lack of capability, motivation, or some other factor. And this is an opportunity to seek to understand their strengths, their barriers to performance, and the type of environment that might be a better fit for them. And then you can help them to identify and transition to a team or organization where they can add greater value. Celebrate their journey. Above all, treating people with respect and helping them to connect to a team where they can shine keeps everyone engaged and it optimizes their contribution to the group's success. Thanks for listening.